in this chapter we are going to learn about array and object destructuring so this is a new syntax in es6 with destructuring syntax you can extract small fragments from array and object so quickly jump into jsp and check it so let me remove this thing from the earlier part let me clear it so let's uh, let first let we first do array destructuring array destruction first suppose we have an array rgb equal to 255 200 0 so what is the es6 es5 way to extract something from it so the es5 way is we are taking a variable we want to extract each of them into different variables so rgb 0 so array are indexed so 0 r g will be 1 any variable it is not it should be rgb so 2 so let me console dot log it uh, let me again use the template strings which we have just learned dollar a comma g g comma d e and let me run it rgb it is it is like this so with destructuring what we will do so let me first comment this out so destructuring the same thing with destructuring can be done in one sentence let it r comma g comma b so this seems like a weird type of format we have never used array in, array in this part left hand side but in this we use it in the left hand side and just gb will do and it will destructure so it is equivalent to this three so r this r will get this rgb zero this g will get this rgb one this d will get this rgb two so let me clear it let me run it same thing we are getting so now we will see another cool thing with this let me first comment uh, this out and we'll see how we can combine it with the spread operator so let me have a const even equal to 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8 comma 10 so the even numbers are there so let me have const again we are doing destructuring any variable we can write i need the first and the second one only and the rest of them what i need rest of them i needed them in an array so dot 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 the spread remaining so and then just even so console dot log first then second and then remaining let me clear it let me run it see first this two have come second this four have come remaining is an array of six eight and ten. so this is also again a very powerful method so now it is also possible to skip items in this so that is done by omitting it with comma so let's see how it is done so let me first again comment this out again let me have a array like with hex values fff comma hash 000 
has six, seven, eight. Okay. So I want a variable which will take this black only. So this is the code for black. So I want this only. I don't want to create more variables. So how I can do this? I can do this by this. So one comma so because I'm omitting the first one, then black, then the second uh, third, second comma because we can put variables here also and here also, but we have to do the comma. So it symbolizes that we are omitting them. Hex now console.log black let me clear it so black is zero 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 similarly suppose let me now comment this out suppose i want this one and not this two so as you might have guessed white and then two commas equal to hex console dot log of white let me clear it run it and see white have come so now what we are going to do we are going to learn about object key structuring so let me first remove this and it will be object D struct during const let p developer first name object we are checking last name country India and we want to destructure again we we have to use object just like array we were using in the first part we have to use a object here first name comma last name comma country so whatever is the key we will use the key key name here for it to developer console dot log let me copy it like this only let me clear it run it and it is coming an object doesn't have the issue as we have with the our array because what happens in object see object we are using the value of key here in the structure so i can directly use it like this so the array problem is not here if i clear it and if i run it it will give an event going here. so the array problem is not there so this completes our array and object data structure in chapter see you in the next